So uh, what we're going to do is the captains are going to be over there. A lot of you guys have already picked a captain. I've seen some mingling going on and getting on boats. I know some of you guys already have boats. And I know we're missing the best fishing light. I already know all this. I fish. You know, I, I, I know. Don't tell me about it. I'm already trying. So this is or organized chaos. You just get with the captain and go with them. There's lunches right here. I'll let uh, Mark take over after that. Um, and he's going to handle everything else. So we're going to be pretty quick at getting on boats this morning. We're going to be pretty quick at getting out after the national anthem, and then uh, we'll get after it. Thanks, y'all. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last beam whose broad stripes and bright stars through the pale The ramparts we watched were so gallantly free. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof to the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say the Father, we thank you for today, and we thank you for the blessing that you've given us to come out here and do this. Uh, Lord, we just ask that you get these men on some fish, and we thank you for what you have given us, and bless everybody out there on the boat today, and keep everybody safe. And Father, thank you for everything you've done, and let's catch some fish. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Since the first volley of gunfire, brave Americans in every generation have answered the call of duty and won victory for freedom in its hour of need. General Douglas MacArthur once said that the soldier who is called upon to offer and to give his life for his country is the noblest development of mankind. We pay tribute to those brave souls who raced into gunfire, roared into battle, and ran into hell to face down evil. They made their sacrifice not for fame or for money or even for glory, but for country. Today, a new generation of American patriots are fighting to win the battle against terrorism, risking their lives to protect our citizens from an enemy that uses the murder of innocence to wage war on humanity itself. I believe that God has a special place in heaven for those who lay down their lives so that others may live free from fear and this horrible oppression. Now, let us pledge to make the most of that freedom that they so gallantly and brilliantly fought for. Their stories are now woven into the soul of our nation, into the stars and stripes on our flag, and into the beating hearts of our great, great people. Today, we pay tribute to that legacy, a legacy you protect and grow each and every day. Dave, tell me that's all you can catch today. Just two. That's it. Oh, no. You know, just tell your deckhand here, Miles. Tell your deckhand. Start changing your gear out. Hey, Miles, come and change my gear out. <laughs> that is Mid Columbia Guide Service, Craig Turner. You're off my flag. Damn it. That's all right. If you're looking for a walleye guy, there's your guy. You're looking for a salmon guy, there's your guy. Anything, Craig will get you on fish.
using half worms. Ooh, that's a good one, guys. Just using half worms. Mm -hmm. um, just fishing a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Nice. That's a nice fish. Yeah, baby. That, my friend. That's a nice fish. There's a nice little eat walleye yeah. right there. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. Uncanny resemblance. Thanks for playing. Don't screw up the net job, Shaner. Just get it in there. Hey! Hey! I was hoping for Shaner. Last year, last year, uh, I caught two. Day, I was uh, all by myself, I had to net my own fish. First, um, <laughs> now we get video, so we have to do something. <laughs> hey, yeah! <laughs> Quick release. Oh, that's cool. Good, it's all right. We'll take it. Oh, he's gone. Off. Damn it! We dominate the sky. We dominate the sea. We dominate the land and space. Not merely because we have the best equipment, but because we have the best people. Each of you embodies the warrior creed, your devotion, prowess, and expertise make you the most fearsome fighting force. Your bounce is gonna stop because he's grabbing the lure and pulling back on it. So all of a sudden it'll just stop and you'll see that it'll look like this. Boom, boom, it'll just, it'll tug down. Yeah. I'll show you, when I get bit again, I'll, I'll hold it and go, that's a bite. Well, you're, you're fired up. Well, it'll, cause a, a snag will be consistent like, right? Right. A walleye will go, Make sense? Mm -hmm. I'll watch it when I see it. Together with our allies, America's warriors are prepared to defend our nation using the full range of our unmatched capabilities. We will never yield, never waver, and never falter in defense of our people, our freedom, and our great American flag. That flag stands for the values of our republic, the history of our people, the sacrifice of our heroes. So this is our G-Guide service, Ron Gentry. He's got the uh, open seat this fall for salmon. If you're looking to get on, give this cat a call. He'll get you on fish. Mark Gal Outdoors. He's got some open seats this fall as well. Give him a call, he'll get you on fish. They're on the board. Nice. They're on the board already. How many? so far. Yep. Hey, now that was my lunch. <laughs> okay, Miles. Damn it, damn it. Oh, it's a donk. Oh, it is. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Might want to let that one go. This is the heritage of the American Armed Forces, the greatest force for peace and justice the world has ever known. As Americans celebrate Veterans Day this month, we honor all who have sacrificed to make peace and stability possible. We pay tribute to every proud American who has worn the uniform and served our country. Today, many nations are thriving because of the sacrifices made by American service members and our allies, and because of the sacrifices all of you continue to make each and every day. You are the reason the great American flag will proudly stand behind me wherever I go. And every time I look at that flag, I will think of brave men and women like you. 
Which way? You gonna spool ya? No, I just don't want him to burn my reel. Stick in the water, cool it off. I might need to. Tell me which way to go, Bubba. My reel's a little back. reel's a little warm. <laughs> yeah. My alpha is snagging. Yeah, it's getting wow. mm -hmm. He ate it. I could feel him. Mm -hmm. Alright, whopping. 12 pound test line. Even the sturgeon like them dudes. 8 pound braid, by the way. 8 pound braid. It's coming out. There, there it is. is. Not ready yet. Okay, one more time and we should be able to get our hands on to that jig. Where do I grab him by? The lips. The lips? Grab right in the mouth. On the butt like this, Shane. On that bottom lip. Yeah, he's not ready yet. Yeah, he's tired. Yeah, he's tired. Now grab right in the jaw. Yeah. Let go of the line. No. Cut your fingers. Yep. Cut your fingers. It's gonna break off. Yeah, that's good. There he goes. Ready? Ready. Oh, he didn't even give you the revised flat. Oh no! Fisher! Solid. Try that again. Try that again. Not looking all stupid here. Much better. Right at the boat. Hey, you come down. Oh, come here, you little rascal. Yeah, come, come down here. Uh -huh. And grab hold of those little lippy lips right there. Yeah, that's that sucker's deep. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 bad it's, it's way down in there. Miles can get his little hand in there. You get it? Okay, yeah. now stay there right down there. Are you ready? ready? Yep. Go ahead. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Snap it right out of there. Got him! Got him! He's there? Oh, there he is! There, there he is! You got a light rod, man. About the same size. Well, well, uh, yeah. Woo! I hope I do too as I'm reeling it in. Keep 
There he is. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, better fish. Definitely better fish. He's right here. Okay. Okay, same thing. I'll take this. You get yeah. him. Is that the same fish? <laughs> Could be. Oh, come on. And then uh, Birkenbein will get you a picture. <sighs> Got him? Nope. Now we do. Okay. I'll lighten up. You get the hook out. <sighs> come on. There we go. Got it? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Something yep, hits that wall, you. it's going to be big. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, not a nice splash. Fold it down. You ain't giving the words for the trick. Don't fuck up. Beep. Beep. Don't mess up, Kenny. This is a bigger fish. Handling. Hurting. Yeah, food. Yeah. Come on, this way. This way. Get over here. I'm right away from you. Ah, dog's ass. It's in this outside line. Ready for me to go. Just get the fish out, please. Go ahead and let him go, Ken. Got it? Uh, yep, I'm rolling. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's biting. <laughs> hey, camera guy with two fish. Thank you. <laughs> hey, give it up one more time for Tony Fisher and his band of captains for taking you out today, right? Uh, right now, I'd like to turn it over to our mayor, though. She'd like to say a welcome to you all. Thank you. I would like to, on behalf of the city of Umatilla, thank all of you for all the service that you've done for our country. And for the time right now, I would like for us to take a moment of silence in honor of the 13 who lost their lives not too long ago. Thank you. Thank you, and God bless you all.
That's okay. I'm taking it. No potato salad. No. Uh, it's good. Weather was great today. A lot of people out. Some good fish. It was a good day. Nice down the river. This is a great event. We've been partnering now with Tony and the guides for about four years. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. We're excited. This is hopefully, hopefully we can double it next year. Yeah, it just keeps getting bigger. We love it. That's always really nice to see. We had a really good day. Fair. Yeah, he was helping. He was our helper. Deckhand, there you go. He was a deckhand. Mike was our captain. Mike was our captain. There you go. You need to go get Mike right there. He was our Mike. There you go. It's really nice that um, somebody, you know, thinks about the vets. And it was fun. It was good a really, time. really good organization. I know I already signed up to do it next year. So. Well, which, uh, thanks, thanks to the city of Yumatilla, the mayor, and everybody that uh, helped us get this thing going. It's gotten bigger and bigger every year. Um, we had 105 signed up this year, 85 showed, so it, it, it was a good turnout. We expect that. We'll try and push it to 120 um, and see if we can get 100 here. Uh, it is November 12th. This next coming year, 2022, uh, we're going back to the Veterans Day weekend. This year was the uh, 20th anniversary of 9-11. So um, we just decided to move it forward, but uh, we are going to push it back into November again. So it's going to be a little colder. You're not going to get no salmon, but you didn't get any salmon anyway. So you ain't missing nothing. Only one. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I want to thank you guys for your service. Again, I say it every year. We couldn't do it without you. Without y'all, we couldn't. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't get to do the the things of freedom that I get to do without uh, everything you've done for us. So um, you don't hear it enough. You should hear it every day. People should walk up to you every day and tell you thank you. You don't hear it enough. Um, but for my, me and my family and everybody here at Umatilla, the city of Umatilla, we want to thank you and uh, God bless y'all. Thank you. Hey, okay, so we got a ton of stuff up here. Like I said, we got a whole bunch of handmade art down below down here. We're going to kind of mix it up. We're going to just pick and choose. Haley's going to pick the prize. I'm going to pick a number. We're going to call out a number. You'll come up and see Haley and grab it. Okay, well, you get your pick, Sergeant. I made one for my captain, one to give away. So, so we made one for the captain of the boat today to show his appreciation. So let's give that up. And then he's not anyone, we're going to put the raffle on that right away. Thank you so much for your help, buddy. Corey Watson, he's, a, he's a vet. Corey Watson, another vet. Okay, perfect. Is Corey still here? No, he never did. Terry brought him. Oh, all right. Well, you give him my love for us will you, when you go back and see him. That's great. How about ticket number 543? Well, Keith Elison, it's, it's right there. <laughs> you know, I didn't know. God, you're going to wake me up sometimes. 572. Ticket number 572 for this beautiful piece of artwork. A few moments ago, I placed a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. And as I stepped back and stood during the moment of silence that followed, I said a small prayer. And it occurred to me that each of my predecessors has had a similar moment. And I wondered if our prayers weren't very much the same, if not identical. We celebrate Veterans Day on the anniversary of the armistice that ended World War I, the armistice that began on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. And I wonder, in fact, if all Americans' prayers aren't the same as those I mentioned a moment ago. For all we can ever do for our heroes is remember them and remember what they did and memories are transmitted through words. We see these soldiers in our mind as old and wise. We see them as something like the founding fathers, grave and gray-haired. But most of them were boys when they died, and they gave up two lives, the one they were living and the one they would have lived. When they died, they gave up their chance to be husbands and fathers and grandfathers. They gave up their chance to be revered old men. They gave up everything for our country. 
for us. And all we can do is remember. There's always someone who is remembering for us. No matter what time of year it is or what time of day, there are always people who come to this cemetery, leave a flag or a flower or a little rock on a headstone. And they stop and bow their heads and communicate what they wished to communicate. I think sometimes of General Matthew Ridgway, who the night before D-Day tossed sleepless on his cot and talked to the Lord and listened for the promise that God made to Joshua. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. We are surrounded today by the dead of our wars. We owe them a debt we can never repay. All we can do is remember them and what they did and why they had to be brave for us. Closing out uh, 2021 Fish in the Brave event. Um, this is where we get a bunch of captains together and we had, this year we had 31 total and uh, we take out uh, 100 veterans. We had the opportunity to get uh, 85 veterans out this year. The music's playing in the background so that's why we came down here, see? Um, so we had an uh, opportunity to get 85 wonderful veterans out. It's a day of fishing, fun, um, eating, talking. That guy, guy just that guy just that guy just wrecked the whole thing. So anyway, uh, next year let's just get into next year. Next year it's uh, November 12th. We're going back to Veterans uh, Weekend. Um, it's November 12th. You go to my website fisherscatchoutfitters.com to sign up. There's a little tab there. You hit the tab. It'll take you right to the page. Pretty simple. First hundred vets go. That's the way it rolls.